100 years, much can happen, much can change, much can be forgotten. Memories seem only like old pictures we walk past, the jerseys and banners hung above the court, the dusty trophies locked in the glass display case. But all is brought back. None are forgotten. Nothing is changed. Eyes wide open to the wonder of how 100 years affected so many and generated the greatness of many. A torch remains lit, and the faces of the new carry the spirit of the old. Replacement? No, but a continuation to tradition. With each thought of the basketball, swoosh of the net, squeak of a shoe, roar of a crowd, yell of a coach, whistle from a referee, each drop of blood, sweat, and tear has led to the Bethany Bison 100 years. Winningest players in history and some of the greatest who ever stepped foot in Hubble Fieldhouse, they might look to the ones before them. They might look to themselves, or they might look ahead to championship glory. Can the Bison do it again? Bethany was picked before the season to finish second in the PAC, a generous prediction by the media considering the losses of Chris Stevens and James Wallace. It seemed as a great boost of confidence for the Bison entering the season. Still the goal would be the PAC crown. The 10 new players who would wear green and white for the first time added to the uncertainty of Bethany's fate. With confidence and championship goal, the Bison strive to get back to their usual PAC glory. But the first half of the season would prove to be bittersweet for the Bison. After starting out 3-2, the Bison returned home 